So guys, Rin has exploded. Stay tuned, because we're going to take a look at the charts. Yeah. Let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others saying that I'm blessed. But I keep my head down, cause I crave progress. You ain't never gonna stop me, cause it's my conquest. And I'm never gonna rest, yeah. And y'all don't know that I'm a soldier. I yo, but now I'm ready, I'm a blower. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that quick little intro. Just having a little fun there. Um, but yes, Bryn has exploded. I mean, we have really taken it off. I've really kind of noticing a particular pattern here that I'm going to point out later in the video. So make sure you stick around for the whole video, guys. And Bryn, honestly, guys, use case, absolutely enormous. We might take a quick look at this as well. Um, but guys, we got some gainers, decent gainers here right now in the past 24 hours. But we will be jumping right on into the price action for Ren, as well as coming up with some possible price predictions. So don't miss it. And definitely, guys, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and join us here. What are you waiting for? If you love cryptocurrency, you're not in the wrong place. Smash that subscribe button, hit that like button for the algorithm if you would, and we'll dive right on in to the video. So guys, like I said, we do have some decent gainers here in the past 24 hours. Top on the list is Ren, up a whopping 40% in the past 24 hours and 64% in the past week. We've also got Zen. So we got Ren and Zen. <laughs> we got Zen up 31% in the past 24 hours and we and 33% up in the past seven days. We also have Fandom or FTM up 23%. Let's take a look here. We have Synthetics guys up 14%. Sushi Swap up almost 20%. AVAX up 13%. Revane up 12%. Telcoin up 10%. HBAR still up 10%. Up 65% in the past week for HBAR guys. Crazy. I might have to do an update on HBAR. And I did just want to point this out for any of you guys that are unfamiliar about REN or what it actually does. REN VM is an open protocol providing access to inner blockchain liquidity for all decentralized applications. Guys, bring Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Zcash, and more to your Ethereum app. Transfer any token between any blockchain. Access tokens from any blockchain using your existing smart contracts without having to worry about wrapping or unwrapping tokens. This is pretty, pretty big, guys. 100 times faster than atomic swaps. Integrates into existing infrastructure. And guys, multi-collateral and also bring cross-chain assets to your DEX. Integrate cross-chain assets such as Bitcoin and Zcash into existing DEX or liquidity pool infrastructures. And supported blockchains. With support for more blockchains planned, it won't be long before the entire ecosystem is connected. You can see here Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Zcash, Doge, more coming soon. And you will be able to interact these tokens on the Ethereum blockchain and the Binance Smart Chain. Guys, this is pretty interesting to me, okay? Um, let me know in the comment section down below real quick. Just slide down there real fast, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about REN. Do you guys know about REN? Are you familiar with REN? Do any of you guys hold any REN? I would love to know and hear your comments in the comment section down below. And guys, before we dive right on into the price action and I give you guys my analysis and potential targets here, um, I would like to share a message with you with today's sponsor, which is Apollo Fintech. Guys, make sure you stick around so you don't miss the price action next. If you are looking for a blockchain and cryptocurrency that is prepared for mass adoption and able to sustain it, welcome to Apollo Fintech. It has all the things that Cardano, Ethereum, and XRP have, government systems, sharding, smart contracts, and a bank-to-bank -bank system, and more. Just one country adopting Apollo's national payment system or e-government system would give Apollo more daily active users than Bitcoin and Ethereum combined. If you would like to learn more about Apollo Fintech and the APL cryptocurrency, you can click the link in the description down below and it will take you to a page that looks like this. You can create an account here on Stratus, and then you can click on investments in the upper left-hand tab, and then you are able to buy Apollo. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into the charts here. I do have Rin up here on the daily chart. And I'm going to be honest, the first thing I'm noticing here on the daily chart, the immediate thing I'm noticing is uh, this possible, very likely, cup and handle pattern that's playing out here. Let me know what you guys think about this, if you're familiar with some TA. But um, definitely, in my opinion, here on the daily chart, this could very likely be a cup and handle pattern. And we could formulate a measure move of this. You've already blasted above your breakout point, right? You've already blasted above your breakout point. You are catching a little bit of resistance up here at this previous resistance from back here in the price action, guys. You are starting to catch a little bit of resistance there at about a dollar and ten cents or so. But let's go ahead and formulate a measured move of this as a cup and handle just to see how far this breakout could go if we can break up here above some of this previous resistance from the previous price action. All right, guys. So what we are going to do here, oops. What we are going to do here is go ahead and um, put the top to our cup here, which I'm going to say this would make sense right here from this breakdown point here to this top over here would be the top of your cup. This looks like a perfect cup and handle, guys. Typical, you know, typical perfect textbook cup and handle, in my opinion. Little choppy over here, but looks like a great cup and handle pattern. So let's go ahead and formulate a possible measure move price target of this. Keep in mind, as always, guys, I know you get tired of hearing it, I'm sure. Um, and if I was more creative, you know, I might come out with a little disclaimer jingle like Coin Bureau or something, but um, I don't think I'm that creative. Surely he has somebody write those for him. But let's go ahead and, um, oh yeah, not financial advice. Disclaimer down below if you if you didn't see it yet. Um, not financial advice. But let's put in a price, uh, price target here. Um, with this measured move of this as a potential cup and handle, you did break your breakout point here, which I believe is going to be right here at about 89 to 90 cents. It's going to be your breakout point there. Um, you could actually bring it a little bit lower, but this makes sense right here. And that gets you up here to $1.47, $1.47 up here close to $1.50. Okay, let me take it back here and zoom out just a little bit here. Does look like a textbook cup and handle, guys. Um, obviously, we do still need to get above this resistance. We are catching a little bit of slight resistance there at about $1.10 for Ren. But um, we'll go ahead and put in a target area to pay attention to up here, which is going to be up here around... Let's just say up here around $1.40 to $1.50 or so. Um, so what I'll do is go ahead and put in a price label over there. And um, then I'll put in an, a box to cover the price target area. So we'll go ahead and put a price target in here in between $1.40 and $1.50. So let's just go ahead and uh, say $1.45. Okay, we'll put $1.45 in there. And then what we're going to do to kind of give us a little bit to go by, you know, a little give or take here which is what I like to do, guys. If you're familiar with the channel, you know. Um, yes, I put in targets, but guys, I like to give people um, something to go by, not, you know, so that they can make their own decisions, right? Not, I'm not going to tell you that you need to put an order in exactly this place, okay? Nobody really knows exactly what's going to happen, guys. We can only do our best with technicals, fundamentals, indicators, um, you know, stuff like that to determine what could happen. So what I like to do is put in target areas, okay? So we'll put in a box here, from $1.40 to $1.50 or so. Let's just put this box, we'll put this target range in here from $1.40 to about $1.60 actually, up there near $1.60. So in and around this area, guys, would be, in my opinion, based on this as a cup and handle, a decent area for Ren to come up and catch some previous some resistance. You can see back here in the price action, you do have, um, you do actually have some previous resistance right here, and that's right there at about $1.40. But guys, also at $1.20, you have resistance, um, and that resistance at $1.10, which we are currently testing now. Now, we could easily break this resistance and come on up here and reach these targets. I really hope you guys enjoy this quick um, update and analysis here on Ren as it is breaking to the upside. Um, like I said, take it with a grain of salt, guys. Anything can happen very fast in cryptocurrency, so you really just have to um, be very conservative. In my opinion, a lot of people are just overly hype, overly bullish, or overly bearish. They're not conservative enough. Um, you know, and, and you gotta, you know, be conservative, remove emotions, all that stuff, um, if you really want to be profitable in cryptocurrency. But thanks for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to come over and smash that subscribe button. Join the awesome community here. We're all crypto fanatics, crypto addicts, crypto maniacs. We are obsessed. We're crypto obsessed. You won't regret joining us here at Average Joe Crypto. Smash that like button on the way out, and I better see you in the next one.